In this video, I'm gonna show you an awesome bare paint color palette prepared by me featuring this color, Chic Gray. This palette's gonna give you some trim color options as well as other wall color pairings that introduce a little bit of fun color. So stick around, press that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm James, the color guy, and this is Color Quickie. So to start things off, this is a 60 LRV paint color. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. The LRV is something that I always mention. It's the light reflectance value, and it is a number that tells us the percentage of light that this color reflects. Luckily, Bare Paint is one of the many paint companies that advertise this number and tells us what it is. We know for a fact that Chic Gray reflects 60% of the light that hits it. And that means it is a lighter color. It's obviously not as light as a 93 LRV white color and not as dark as a 3 LRV black paint color. So 60 is in that upper echelon. And I find that any paint color that sits in the low 60s is very easy to use. When you're using it inside, it's kind of the sweet spot that us designers have agreed upon where it's not too light, not too dark. You might think that, hey, well 50, that should be kind of the sweet spot. In practicality, people tend to lean a little bit lighter with their interior paint colors because dark colors can just be a bit intimidating in terms of, you know, people want to bring light into their house rather than have it sort of be repelled, let's say. And in terms of neutral paint colors, it doesn't get much more neutral than chic gray. It's one of these silvery grays that kind of sits right in the middle. It feels very balanced. Bare Paint advertises it as a cool gray. And I think that's largely because of when it's used in person, it tends to be illuminated with cooler lighting. Because when you think of sunlight being cooler, LED lighting can sometimes be cooler. So anything that's gray or pretty neutral, it will kind of favor the cool side. And so does chic gray. But I have seen it used in spaces where it does feel maybe a tad grayy, So like gray with a touch of beige to warm it up ever so slightly, but it is a very subtle warmth that doesn't always appear. So if you wanna make sure you're prepared with how it's gonna look in your home, before you use it, test it out, okay? Before you get a big can of paint or a big pail of paint, get a tiny little tester pot, put it on some Bristol board, put it on the wall itself next to maybe your white doors, because that gives you a nice little neutral comparison. And then you'll get a much better idea of how this color is gonna look in your home. But if you are thinking of using it, this is a color that's going to be very easy to use in my opinion, because of the fact that it is neutral, it's not going to push any buttons the wrong way. It's going to have a wonderful continuity throughout your home if you decide to use it as your main anchoring color. And no matter what design style you're really working with, I could see Chic Gray working in a number of situations. If you're liking this video so far and you think it can add value to your friends' lives, Go and share this with them. Share this face, why not? All right, so let's get into some trim color options. The first one being Nano White, which is an awesome, very modern feeling white paint color by Bear. It has an 87 LRV, so quite a bit brighter than Chic Gray. I guess 27 points brighter. And that means if you use this on the trim and sheet gray on the walls, it's gonna have a lovely amount of contrast. So each one will live on its own and be very noticeable. You want your baseboards to pop and you can accomplish that pop by having a nice level of difference between each color's LRV. So for most people, this is probably my recommendation because off-white and white trim, still kind of the most popular choice. But if you want it to be a little more trendy and go for dark trim, or maybe you want white baseboards, but darker interior doors, for example, a dark trim color option would be peppery. Now, this is another quote unquote neutral paint color, but not so much on the gray side, I find. There is maybe a grayed out effect to it, but I would almost call this a really insane mainly dark brown mixed with black, but kind of a charcoal brown sort of feel. And because of that combination, this brown can almost look black in some cases. It can sometimes show a tiny green undertone, but it will be subtle. And especially if you're using it on things like trim, it's not taking up a ton of visual space and surface area. You'll just see this dark, moody, contrasty, espresso brown kind of thing on your baseboards or wherever you decide to use it. A 10 LRV, so very dark, probably a tougher color to justify using in rooms because you're not reflecting any light into the space. So you need to be intentional with how you're using it. So in this palette, just think of it as a dark trim color. 
done. <laughs> or a furniture color if you want to do some DIY weekender stuff. All right, trim colors out of the way. Now let's talk about color pairings. First one being crisp linen, a 76 LRV warm neutral, just a true creamy beigey color on the lighter side of things. So this is not necessarily a builder's beige, which is usually more of an oatmeal color, maybe a bit darker. This one has a lot of life to it. It has some buoyancy, it has some lift. It's gonna reflect three quarters of the light that hits it back into the space. So I think that's a good thing. That's something that usually people desire when it comes to paint colors, those bright airy colors. This is a great choice for that. And it's just a wonderful warmer alternative to chic gray, which is definitely more on the gray side of things, a little bit darker, a little more sleek, I would say. This is gonna give you that uplifting alternative. Next up, we have a color actually, it's called Breathe. And this is a wonderful, slightly warm leaning sage green. It has the slightest kind of warm, buttery yellow undertone happening. So not so much an overly blue leaning minty green. To me, it feels more of transitional in nature where it can definitely lean into the warm side of things with your crisp linen, which we talked about before, or your more cooler neutrals, your chic grays, which are a little more grayscale. This is a 63 LRV paint color. So really in that sweet spot for walls. I would call this a secondary color. So in the space that you want a little more life, a little liveliness, maybe the offshoot rooms in your home, like your living family rooms maybe even a kitchen. I'm a big fan of green, so I had to put one in this video. And then the third color, which is kind of the wild card choice, the, maybe the accent color, I guess you could say. Definitely different. This is called Live Yaz or Jazz. And as you can see, this is a lavender paint color that is absolutely lovely. Has this maybe a touch of a red undertone in the background. And even though it's extremely saturated in comparison to the other colors on this list, especially chic gray, on its own, it actually isn't as vibrant and punchy as you might expect. It will seem that way in person, most likely. It still fits into this whole grouping. Just make sure that this is a color that you're gonna really use in accent form. So one room in your home that you really wanna feel special. Bedrooms, it's an awesome choice. And I particularly like the relationship between it and breathe. The purple and green combo is absolutely beautiful. And you'll see it when I show you the palette right now. What do you think of the palette? Let me know in the comments below. And also check out our Patreon in the description where if you become a Prime member, you not only get exclusive Patreon content every single Sunday, you also get a personalized color palette from me every three months. And whether or not you sign up as a Patreon member, we do have color palettes available for sale there. Massive 12 color palettes prepared by myself and the other designers within the Paint People team. Check that out if you're interested. And we got more videos right over here.